Big Bang isn't the start of the universe. Stop right there. Haven't we all been taught to measure time from the Big Bang and say that's when the universe came into being? You hear statements like that all the time, but the problem is, they're not entirely correct. I'm not saying the Big Bang Theory is flawed, but it's surrounded by a lot of myths and misunderstandings. One of the biggest confusions is about what exactly the term Big Bang refers to and which specific events it encompasses. Many people assume the Big Bang Theory explains the creation of the universe, but that's not accurate. The Big Bang Theory describes the evolution of the universe, what happened during its earliest moments, though not from the very first instant. So does that mean something was happening before what we commonly call the Big Bang? Yes, exactly, and we even have some theories about what that might be. I'm not referring to the singularity, which brings its own set of questions. For instance, you've likely heard that a cosmological singularity is a state where the entire universe was compressed into a single point. But here's the catch. Isn't the universe thought to be infinite in size today? How can you squeeze something infinite into a single point? An infinite size point? That's what we're going to explore today, along with questions like what came before the Big Bang, what the term really means, what problems the Big Bang theory faces, and how cosmological inflation helps resolve them.